Good morning, everybody. It's Sarah, Thrifting for the Nest. Thanks so much for uh, checking out my video. Today I'm going to do a What's Sold video. I'm sitting here with my cup of coffee, my Baymax mug. We um, were kind of obsessed with Disney. My husband is crazy obsessed with Disney. Um, so mostly our coffee cup collection consists of Disney-themed uh, mugs. So I like to show them all. This was actually this is actually my husband's mug. We got it for Christmas. He got it for Christmas um, from his sister, and I steal it most days. Uh, but I told him I would, so because I love Baymax. The Hero Six is probably one of my very favorite Disney movies. So, um, okay, so today we're gonna do a what sold video. I'm getting ready to do my shipping. It's a Friday. Um, and so I have 11 items to ship today. Not too bad for Friday during Christmas break, the week after Christmas. I will take it. Um, sales are a little bit slow for me right now, but I haven't been listing as much because my kids are out of school. And we are doing Christmas break things, family things. Frankly, I'm exhausted, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. Um, I have got big plans for 2017, and I am excited um, to, to put those into action. I, uh, I got a happy planner. For Christmas, I literally don't know what to do with it. Okay, it's so cute. Look at this. It says my life, love my life, and it's black and gold. It's kind of shiny. Anyway, um, I I I like put it together, and I have all my stickers. I make to do lists all day long, and I'm super black and white, and I want to make this look cute with all these little stickers my little and the little happy sayings oh they're so cute i don't know what to do <laughs> so i'm gonna make it look cute dang it but i'm the type of personality that gets so focused on like it has to look cute and then i just don't do what i'm supposed to do so i have to be really careful about that so, um Anyway, so on to the what sold video. Um, so I'm just, I'm not going to like ship while I'm running this down. I'm just going to uh, tell you what I, um, what I paid for it approximately. Like I'm never going to give you exact numbers. I buy most of my stuff at the bins. There's only two items in this um, load that I bought at a retail store and I do remember what I paid for them. So I'll give you a rundown of what I paid and what, um, what it sold for. I do offer free shipping, so keep that in mind too. Um, that when I tell you my sold for price, shipping's got to come off of that, which these are all first class for the most part, first class shipping, and uh, so it's like under four dollars. And then of course my fees come off of that as well. So my um, first item is a Patagonia patterned skirt. It's a cute, stretch, comfortable um, skirt. Uh, it's size extra large. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Patagonia. It's a bread and butter bolo brand, especially the men's fleece jackets um, are pretty popular still. I'll never say no to Patagonia at the bin if it's in good condition. <clears throat> and I will buy it. Oh, sorry, I should say that one I actually did not get at the bin. I got for $4 on a half price retail Goodwill sale. Um, so still totally worth it. I paid, back up Sarah, I paid $20, so sorry. I paid four, they paid, my customer bought it from me for 20. So still good, I'll take it. I was hoping to get a little bit more for it, but I've got everything on sale right now and I'm accepting best offers because I just wanna move stuff, it's the end of the year. Um, the next item that I am gonna ship out today is a J. Crew, J. Crew, and the size tag's missing, so I had to give dimensions on it. I sold, I got this at the bins, so I paid less than a dollar for it, um, and I sold it for 12. Good bread and butter. I will uh, never say no to J. Crew at the bins. I very rarely, though, will buy it at uh, a retail store. Unless it's like a super cute, popular style. Um, okay, so the next item is this brand here, Pins and Needles by uh, Anthropology, And I have had this for a while. It's cute little, it's extra small, it's thin this lace trim um i paid less than 50 cents for this and i sold it for 13 dollars. so again i will take it um the next item is 
I live in the land of Nike, so you're going to see a lot of Nike in my hauls and my what sold. Um, it's Nike SB. It's their skateboarding line. They're like a small uh, size 30 men's cargo short. And I bought these at the bins. I, I did pay more than a dollar for them, and I sold them for 12 um, I've had these up for a while. I think because of the size, they're, they're size 30 waist, they didn't sell for as much as I thought they would, um, or as much as like a size 36 or 38 waist would. And that's okay. Did not lose money. This is all part, I'm just, I'm all about um, all the little sales add up. And please, like I spent, say most $2 on that item. I'm going to spend $3 um, to ship them and then a dollar, two dollars for fees. So, I mean, so, yeah, I still made like four or five dollars on that, but you get a bunch of four and five dollar sales on top of 30, 40, 50 dollar sales. It's just, it's all, just think of it as one big um, input, output. That's how I'm seeing it now. It's, it all, it all evens out, it's all good. Okay, so Columbia is a brand that I will always pick up at the bins if it's in good condition. It is definitely a bread and butter brand. Some Columbia is better than others, um, but I'm learning Columbia just has to be in really good condition. So this is a Columbia Titanium women's um, polyfill jacket. It could be a liner jacket. You can wear it by itself. I mean, it's pretty basic. Um, size large. I got this at the bins, so about a buck and um, sold it for $23. All right, North Face is good. Not as good as it used to be, but it will always sell. Sale, sell. Um, I picked this up at the bins. It's a um, fleece vest, men's vest. Um, you guys will have to tell me how the sound and picture quality is. This is my first attempt at this, so um, I need to know from you. I, I welcome the constructive feedback. Um, anyway, North Face, we're all familiar with North Face labels. It's a men's medium. Uh, picked this up for about a buck. Did I say that already? At the bins. And it sold for $27. i will take it. Uh, four years ago, this would have sold for 40 But times change. Gotta keep up with the changes. I fought it for a while. I would like let my North Face stuff sit at 40 for a long time. And then I'm like, you know what? I just got to drop the price and let it go. Don't be emotionally attached to your items. I learned that on the Scavenger Life podcast last year and it changed. Well, it helped me to focus a little bit more on that fact. Like this is a business. I don't need to get all adamant. Like as long as I make some money on it, right? That's what it's all about. I'll sit on some things for sure. If I know, if I know, if I know the right buyers out there. But if somebody wants to give me $27 for an item that I paid a dollar for, I'll take it. That's my business. That's what I do. Um, all right. So the next brand is another bread and butter. I will never pay up for this, but I will buy it at the bins. It is Foxcroft. Um, size 22. So it's plus size, which makes it even better. Um, it's just a striped button down shirt. These are pretty consistent sellers for me. That's why I'll buy them at the bins, but I'm not going to pay up for them. So um, I think I had it up for 20 and it sold uh, on sale for 16. Okay, I did pay up for this. I will pay up for soft surroundings. Soft surroundings. I love this brand. Oh, I cannot figure this camera out how to get it to focus. Okay, I'm going to work on that, you guys. Um, so it's a like a cardigan, like a long cardigan with this cute little um, buckle in the front. And I love the pattern. It's a um, like navy blue and beige scroll pattern. It's very pretty. I paid $10 for this, but I knew that I'd make some money on it. So I think I had it up for 60. Mm, uh, maybe it was on sale for like 55. And I took a $50 offer on it, so that's fine with me. I mean, 40 bucks. Granted, you know, again, my shipping and my fees are going to come out of that. But still, that's a decent profit, and that's why I buy saucer things. All right. Next thing is a Prana. Oop, oop. All right, Prana. Hello. Uh, it's a burnout pattern, which means you can kind of somewhat see through it, somewhat sheer. 
and it's like an open front cardigan super lightweight like this thing maybe cost me 30 cents at the bins and i sold it for 16. i think i was hoping for a little bit more on that but you know that's okay all right i will always buy chico's at the bins when it's in good condition um I will pay up a little bit for Chico's Travelers. Uh, this is a size two. They have vanity sizing, so this is like a size large. Slinky knit, uh, travel knit skirt. It has this fringe on it. Um, honestly, I thought I'd get a little bit more for this. I took a best offer of 15. I paid a little over a dollar. Um, normally my Chico's Travelers stuff is gonna sell for 20, 25 dollars, especially if it's a size two or three. I'll still take 15 for this. Okay, you ready for this? I am a sucker for 80s and 90s nostalgia. Sucker for it. I will buy it whether I think it's going to sell or not. I knew this would sell. I knew there's a little bit of a following. <clears throat> Joe State. Because, <laughs> um, you know, it's Garfield. And he's so cute. Oh, can you see him? Can you see him? He's lounging, he's having a drink, he's hanging out, he's chilling. The epitome of the 80s and 90s. Anything that reminds me of my childhood, I just love it. And I got it at the bin, and it's got no stains or holes or anything in it. So I put it up for $25 yesterday. I took a best offer of $20 within six hours. Um, I'm happy with that. I checked comps on that towel, and they were selling for like 8 Well, nothing with that print, but uh, like the vintage Garfield towels were selling for like 8 to 12 bucks. I put 25 on it because I think it's awesome. And sometimes when I think stuff is awesome, I'm going to mark it up a little bit. Um, and then eventually if it doesn't sell. So I actually wasn't expecting to get a sale on day one of that, but I will take it. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's my 11 items that I have to ship today. I'm going to go to the bins this morning um, and see if I can get more stuff. I'm just kind of gearing up. I'm loading up for the new year. Um, I'm not posting this video until after the new year. So um, if you're wondering what that's all about, that's why. Um, since it's a new channel, I kind of want to make sure that I have enough videos to post um, so that I give you guys some content to chew on. So if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want to see more of this uh, kind of stuff from me. And again, if you have like comments on the quality of my video or my lighting or my sound, let me know um, since this is my first experience with YouTube. I need to know that, uh, that you can see what I'm trying to show you. So thanks for joining. Have a great day. Okay, bye guys.